Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this dish towel here that will hang on your stove there. Um, it's actually not too hard. Um, it's made with the shell stitch down here. Gives it some nice texture. And then up here it's just basically single crochet and then some decreasing of single crochet. Um, so, and this is how it just comes undone like this. There we go. And then you just hook it on your stove by wrapping this around. And then the button comes through. Like that. So the size is... This towel measures about 12 and a half, 13, closer to 13 inches. And then the dish towel part, not counting the part that kind of hangs on your stove here but we're not counting this top part here approximately 15 inches you know but you can make it um i'll tell you the stitch count so you can make it wider if you want or thinner and you can always make it longer if you want um you'll also need a this is a two inch button two and a quarter inch button and then um you'll need some regular thread and needle to sew that button on so let's go ahead and get started on this Okay, for this project, I am using I Love This Cotton from Hobby Lobby. It is a 100% uh, medium a four weight cotton yarn. You do not have to use this yarn, but I do recommend you using either 100% cotton or probably at the very least 85%. Um, you can make it in acrylic if you just, but it, it just won't absorb. It'll look the same. It just won't absorb water real well. So if you're just doing it for decor, you know, acrylic would be fine. But if you want to make use out of it, a 100% or at least 85% cotton would be a best for absorbency purposes. Um, the color I'm using is called Monkey Red. They're 150 yards per skein, and this is my second skein. Um, I'm going to say you're going to need about. Um, 250 yards probably to finish this project and then i'm going to be making or using a size i which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook and as always i just want to ask you first off if you give this video a like if you like this project you like the way it looks and if you haven't subscribed yet don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos you hit that bell that notification you'll be notified every time i put on a new video not just tutorials, I do all kinds of anything yarn related, shopping and yarn reviews and stuff like that. And lots of tutorials, I have hundreds of those. So what we're going to do is go ahead and start off with a slip knot on our hook. Now this stitch is done in a multiple of 6 plus 2. In case you want to make this dish towel bigger or smaller or use this stitch for something else. So what we're starting on now is the width of the dish towel not the length the width so if you want to follow along with me i'm going to start out with a chain of 50. all right so once you get your chain of 50 done what we're going to do is go ahead and single crochet in the second stitch from the hook and then we're going to work one single crochet in every stitch for the length of our chain. Just like this. So one single crochet in every stitch until you get to the end of row one. All right, once you make it to the end of row one, you should have a total of 49 stitches now. Okay, for rows two and three are the repeat rows for the whole uh, pattern, the whole towel part until we get to the top where we do the top of the towel, but it's just a two row repeat for now. So row two, we are going to chain one and turn our work. Now we're gonna put a single crochet right here into the very first stitch. And then we will start repeating by putting, skipping two stitches, skip, skip, 
and shell into the next. A shell consists of five double crochets into the same stitch. So skip two, skip, skip, and shell into the next, which is five double crochets. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to skip two, skip, skip, and single crochet into the next. And that will end the repeat for the whole pattern. So again, we start over by skipping two, skip, skip, and shell into the next. So skip two and five double crochets into the next or a shell. Skip two, skip, skip, single into the next. Repeat it again. Skip two, skip, skip, shell into the next. Skip two, skip, skip, and single. And that's what we're gonna repeat until we get to the end of row two. So we'll skip two, shell, skip two, single. Skip two, shell, skip two, single, until you get to the end of the row. Okay, I'm coming to the end. I did my last shell and I have three stitches left. So you just skip two and single crochet into the last. And now at the end of row two, you'll have eight shells. Row three, we are going to chain one and turn our work. Now what we're gonna do is put three double crochets into our first stitch. So that's kind of like this very first stitch here. That's kind of like a half of a shell that we're doing. We're just putting three single crochets into it. And now we're gonna skip two skip skip and single crochet into the next which will actually be the center of the shell and now we're going to skip two skip skip and shell into the next which will actually be the single crochet from the previous row so skip two and shell into the next And then we kind of just repeat, we skip two, skip, skip, single crochet into the next, which is actually the center of the sh next shell from the previous row. And then we skip two again, skip, skip. And then we put a shell into the next stitch, which is single crochet from the previous row. Repeat it again, skip two, skip, skip, single crochet in the next, which is the middle stitch of the next shell. Skip two again, skip, skip, and shell into the next, which is the single crochet from the previous row. And I'm just gonna repeat this until I get to the end of row three. Skip two, single crochet. Skip two, shell. 
skip two single, skip two shell, all the way until you get to the end of the row. Okay, I'm coming to the end of row three. I single crocheted and now I'm going to skip two and I'll have one stitch left. I want to put three double crochets into my last stitch to match the other side where we started with three double crochets. And that'll end row three and you should have a total of seven full shells and then you'll have two half shells, one on each end. So that's the repeat now. You just keep repeating rows two and three. So for row four, we're gonna repeat row two. That's where we chain one and turn, single crochet into the very first stitch, skip two and shell into the next. skip two and single crochet into the next so we're just repeating now rows two and three and so we get our towel the length that we want it to be okay after you got your 30 rows done remember you can do more rows if you want that's fine now i'm going to work so here's my i just finished my 30th row and i just went ahead and tied off okay i'll hide that tip later but now i'm going to work at the top so this is actually the bottom of my uh, dish towel where it, the shells are ruffled and we're going to start up here which was row one and we're going to start working the um, top part of the towel so I'm going to go ahead and start in my very first stitch here that's where I'm going to start my yarn And I'm going to chain one. Now I'm going to go back into that same stitch and single crochet. And I'm going to work one single crochet in every stitch across the top. I'm going to try to hide my tail as I go. Just like that. We're going to call this row one of the top of the towel, okay? So this will be row one of the top of the towel. It's just one single crochet in every stitch all the way across until you get to the end of the row. Okay, once you make it to the end of a row one of the top of our towel, you should have a total of 49 stitches because that's what we started with. Well, that's what we had at the end of row one of the main part of our towel. So 49 is what you need to have. Now we're gonna do for row two of the top of the towel, we're gonna do a row of decreases. So we're gonna go ahead and chain one and turn our work. Now I'm going to put a single crochet right here into the very first stitch. So right here in the very first one, I'm going to single crochet. And then I'm gonna do a single crochet decrease over the next two. So a single crochet decrease has worked over two stitches. So what I do is I go into the next stitch and then I draw up a loop. And then I go into the next one after that and I draw up a loop. I'll have three loops on my hook. I want to yarn over and go through all three. And that's how you do the single crochet decrease. That took those two stitches and made it into one. Now I'm going to single crochet into the next stitch. And then single crochet decrease over the next two. So go into the next stitch, drop a loop, and then to the next one, draw up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, and go through all three. 
And I'm just going to kind of repeat that. So I'm going to single crochet into the next stitch. And then single crochet decrease over the next two. So go into the next one, draw up a loop, and then the next one, draw up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over and go through all three loops. Okay, repeat it, single crochet, one single crochet into the next, and then single crochet decrease over the next two. So go into the next one, draw up a loop, and then the next one, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through all three loops. Repeat it again, one single crochet into the next stitch, and single crochet decrease over the next two. So go into the next, draw up a loop, and then the next, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through all three. So I'm going to keep repeating that, one single crochet, and then one single crochet decrease. Single crochet, single crochet decrease. All the way until I get to the end of row two. And it's gonna to start to ruffle up. And it's supposed to do that, so you're not doing anything wrong if it does that. Okay, I'm coming to the end, and I did a decrease here, and I have one stitch left. Go ahead and single crochet into the last stitch. So your last stitch should be a single crochet, and you should have 33 stitches now at the end of row two of the top of the towel. So for row three of the top of the towel, I'm gonna to chain one and I'm just gonna repeat what I did for row two. So row three is this, this is a repeat of the previous row. So we go ahead and single crochet right there into our very first stitch. And then we decrease over the next two. One single crochet into the next. And then we decrease over the next two. One single crochet into the next. And decrease over the next two. So we're just repeating what we did on the previous round now. Previous row. One single crochet in the next. And then a single crochet decrease. One single into the next. And then a single crochet decrease. So you want to repeat this pattern until we get to the end of the row. And you see it's starting to ruffle more. Okay, I'm coming to the end here. Now this time you will end in a decrease. So you'll have, I did a single crochet here and I have two stitches left and go ahead and decrease over those last two stitches. This is row three of the top we're working on. And you'll have 22 stitches now. Okay. Okay, now for row four of the top part of the towel, I'm going to chain one and turn. I'm going to repeat that row again. So I'm going to single crochet into the first stitch. And then decrease over the next two. So row four, single crochet into the next stitch and decrease over the next two. Row four is the exact same thing we just did on rows two and three. One single crochet, and then a single crochet decrease. One single crochet, and then a single crochet decrease. You want to repeat this all the way to the end of the row. Okay, I'm coming to the end of row four. Now this time your last stitch will be one single crochet. So I did a decrease and I have one stitch left. Go ahead and single crochet into that last stitch. And now you'll have 15 stitches. Okay, row five, I'm gonna chain one and turn my work. Now I'm just gonna work across putting one single crochet in every stitch. So I'm gonna start by putting one single crochet into the first stitch. And then one single crochet in every stitch across until I get to the end of the row. Remember this is row five of the top of the towel that we're working on. One single in every stitch to the end. Okay, you wanna keep repeating row five 
of just one single crochet in every stitch until you get a total of 12 rows. So after the end of row five, you just chain one and turn. In row six, it would just be one single crochet in every stitch across until you get to the end of the row. You'll have 15 stitches at the end of every row. And just keep repeating row five until you get a total of, until you finish out 12 rows. Okay, once you get your 12 rows done here of the top of the towel, this is what it's starting to look like. I'm going to make a hole for my button. Now, I have a large button, remember. Mine's um, the two-inch button. If you don't have a button that size, that's fine. You probably just want to make, leave a smaller hole. But if you do have one this size, I'm going to chain one and turn my work. This is uh, row 13, though. I'm going to put one single crochet into the first four stitches. So there's one, two, three, four. Now I'm going to do a chain of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then I'm going to skip seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then I'm going to single crochet into the remaining four stitches. So after you skip seven, you should have four that remain. And remember, if you have a smaller button, just don't skip as, don't chain as many. So say you have a one inch button, maybe you'll just skip three, chain three and skip three, you know, to whatever size your button will fit through. But like me, if you have the two inch button, now at the end of row 13, you'll have eight stitches, four on this side, four on this side, and you'll have your chain of seven. So row 14, we're gonna chain one and turn. Now I'm going to put one single crochet into the first four stitches. So there's one, two, three, and four. Now, since I skipped, I chained seven here, skipped the seven and chained seven, I'm gonna do seven single crochets. I'm gonna do one in every stitch of the chain. But if you want, you can go right under the chain also. That's probably what I'm going to do. You can do it either way, one in every stitch or right through the chain. But you wanna do seven. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then one single crochet in the remaining four stitches. Okay, now at the end of row 14, you should have your 15 stitches again. So row 15, I'm gonna chain one and turn, and now I'm gonna start doing one single crochet in every stitch again. Just like that and now you should have 15 stitches still now we're just going to keep repeating the one single crochet in every stitch across you always have 15 stitches okay i have done a total from row one that we started way down here all the way up to 34 rows now if you have a smaller button you may not need that many rows but see what we do is we throw the button on the back and then it flips over and goes through here and hooks on your stove that way but so if you have a smaller my button's so big 
it takes a lot of room but if you have a smaller button you may not need that many and if you don't even have a button you can make this longer and just tuck it under your stove like this but you would have to make it quite a bit longer but that's a that's always an option so after 34 rows remember that's starting from the very very first row down here I'm gonna tie that off and I'm gonna do one more thing before I sew my button on now with the right side of your work facing you now i'm going to say that the right side of my work is this very last row of shells when it's facing upright see how it's facing the right side that's the right side of the work the very last row of shells down here needs to be facing upright if it isn't it, you know it's not that important but now what i'm going to do is i'm going to start over here on row one of where we started making the top of our towel. And I'm going to start my yarn there on the side of that stitch. And all I'm gonna do is clean up the edge of the top of the towel. So I'm gonna go ahead and chain one and I'm gonna go right back in to that same stitch and single crochet. Now I'm going to work and I'm going to put one, I'm just going to try to evenly space out putting one single crochet at the end of every row. And it doesn't have to be perfect, just try to evenly space out your single crochets. So that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm just going up the side, evenly spacing out my single crochets, trying to put one at the end of every row. It doesn't have to be exact and you probably won't have the same number of stitches that I do. But all we're doing is cleaning up this edge of the top of the towel. And we just work evenly spacing out our single crochets, trying to get one at the end of every row. Do this all the way up to the top. Now you can see how much neither that's looking there on the edge. Now when we get to the top here, we're going to go around the corner. And we're going to try to, you probably notice it may not be laying flat. That's fine. We'll go ahead and fix that right now. So when you get to the top here, the very first stitch on the top, we're going to go ahead and put three single crochets into that top stitch. And that'll help around the corner and it'll help it lay a little bit flat. Now we'll continue across the top, putting one single crochet in every stitch until we get to our next corner. And then you want to put three single crochets into that corner. And then we'll continue working down the other side, putting one single crochet in every stitch, or at the end of every row, I mean, trying to evenly space them out the best that you can. You know, it's not going to be perfect it's not going to look everybody's will probably have a different number because it's hard to tell where the stitches need to go so you just do your best to evenly space out one single crochet all the way down this side just like that all the way down until you get to your first row of the top down here okay when you make it down here to your first row on this side of where we started the top just go ahead and end with the slip stitch and then we'll go ahead and clip that off. 
now we want to hide any remaining tails and sew our button on. So remember, our button will get sewed on the back side. So when you flip it over, it'll button like this. This will be folded back. So I'm going to go ahead and hide, it, hide the rest of my tails real quick. Okay, I went ahead and held my tails. Now remember, I got my right side of my work facing me. So you want to sew your button on the other side, which I've already done. So you just flip it over and sew it like that. Right here at the top. I just used regular thread and needle. Sewed it right on there like that. And now, when you put it on your stove, flip it over like this. There you go. That should hang right on your stove handle. That's it. That's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. I think it turned out pretty cute. I was unsure about the yarn, but I think it, it looks nice. I think my kids will enjoy uh, washing the dishes and then drying them off with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. They hate doing dishes. But thanks everybody for watching. Um, remember, um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this tutorial. Even if you didn't make it, if you like the project, I would appreciate a uh, thumbs up if you can. And if you look over um, on the left hand side, maybe there'll be some more videos uh, there. Maybe you might find something there. You want another tutorial or something there that you want to watch. So thanks everybody for watching. Bye bye.